Hello there and welcome to my channel and this tutorial we are going to talk about the designing in analysis of a building using base isolator okay so this is Etav's software I have designed this structure it is a 25 story building okay so I were designed it before with fixed base and this time I will use the rubber base isolator or isolator damper okay so first I will go here so I will unlock this model and I will go to define and I will go here to the properties okay so I given all the properties here including frame section okay look here beams different columns and also also I have defined a diaphragm the function type is time history and the mass source I will define mass source and I will define the load pattern okay using American Society of Civil Engineering 716 software okay so and also I will define here the load cases okay for all the load cases including time history load cases okay or linear model history okay so I have defined everything here the load combination okay so please do not forget if you want to know more about this 25 story building structure watch another tutorial okay which link is in the description box okay okay now I will just simply go to define the section properties and will select link support properties I will add new property and also I will give a name here as a rubber okay isolator I will choose the link type will be the rubber isolator and I will select the direction properties will be U1 directions, U2 directions and U3 direction and I will choose here the nonlinear properties will be U2 and U3 I will modify show I will give a stiffness for effective stiffness will be let's say 1000 okay and here I will Nonlinear property stiffness will be 350 and yield strength will be 90. Okay, so and also the post yielding stiffness ratio will be 0.15. Okay, I'll press OK. So and I will modify show for U3. I will give here 17 and 50 okay and here the stiffness will be 350 and here the yield strength will be 90 and post yielding stiffness ratio will be 0.15 okay and press ok and ok so I will delete this link property I will select ok okay so now I have defined the rubber isolator as a link okay so we know that the rubber act as a spring property section so like the, uh, it is working as a spring property so now I will define the spring properties sections I will go here to the defined and spring properties and point springs I will add a new property I will give a name here the rubber base Okay, isolator. Okay, so I will just add only so the link property which I were defined before it will be added and I will do not change anything. I will just press OK. So and will press OK. So now I have defined this the uh, the spring the spring uh, spring section property as well. Okay, so now I will go here to the base here okay so as we know that this time the base is fixed 
but I will apply the base isolator. I will select here all the nodes and I will go to the assign here. I will go to the joint and springs. I will select the rubber base isolator which I have defined. Okay, for spring properties, I will apply and okay. Look here to the elevation. So now you can you can just clearly see the isolator which I will decide to assign for the structure. Okay, so now I have defined the isolator and as I, I have explained before the structures I were designed previously so there is no need for other steps. I will just go here. So I will go here. To select uh, the analysis, I will first check the model. I will select all and OK. Checking the model whether it is properties and assigning properties and other required steps are correct or not. So afterward, I will start the run analysis. Look here, the warning model has been checked. No warning message were generated. OK, hence our model is correct. So afterward, I will go here to the analysis. I will just simply press run analysis. Okay, the analysis will start and after this completion, I will show its results. Okay, the analysis has been completed. Okay, so now I will go here to the display frame pier and I will select here the shear force to two okay the look to it is results okay so this is shear to two so look here we can just uh, show values control okay so it will show with its values as well okay so this will be moment 33 three. okay this is the moment so if you want to just look clearly just select First, the elevation view so you will see it is result moment result okay so it is the moment and if you want to just go for other results you can find here for the combinations okay different load combination okay and also for load cases as well okay so now I want to go here so now I want to go here for designing I will come here to this design part Okay, I will come here and I will uh, uh, revise references. Okay, so the design code is American Concrete Institute 3 1 2019. Okay, so you can just change some preferences if you want. If you want. Okay, so, so afterward I will go here for start design check, which is for concrete. Okay, so the concrete design check will be proceed afterward we will see it is results of designing okay
Okay, the complete design check has been completed. Okay, now the, so if you want to see its results, you will come here. We we'll just press this column. Okay, just select this column and right click. Okay, for its details, okay, you will see its results. Okay, so look here the river percentage and other information okay so you can extract it is all results called on beams and uh, it is concrete result to the exit sheet as well okay so this was all about the designing and analysis of a building using base isolator thank you so much for your attention and please do not forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icons for getting the notification